Hello fans, this is Brian coming to you for UFC on Fox preview. First off, we have Jason Ledette versus Chase Sherman. Chase Sherman is making his UFC debut. Sherman is coming in right now, he's 9-1, and, and Ledette is coming in and he's 6-0. and oh. First off, I think Ledette has a great wealth of experience and knowledge in the octagon. Um, four of his last wins have came by submission, but I think Chase Sherman has a lot to prove in the heavyweight division, so he'll be trying to find his first um, UFC win and not let the doggone UFC shot get to him. So I'm picking Chase Sherman in this fight. Next up we have Cub Swanson, number five in the world, versus Tatiza Kawajiri. Kawajiri is probably one of those fighters that people know and have heard about because Kawajiri has been around for a while. His record is 35-9-2. Cub Swanson comes in for 22-7 and old record. I look for Cub Swanson to take this fight because I think he'd just be a little too much for Kawajiri to, to overcome. Next up, we have Toruto Ishihara versus Hiroshi Gutierrez. First off, uh, Gutierrez has just changed camps. He's now in Glendale, Arizona with that fight team. Um, this is a 145-pound weight division, too. And right now, Gutierrez is 3-2. and two, But Ishihara comes in. Uh, great, great guy. Six of his last fights have been first-round knockouts. Uh, he's 9-2 and two overall with two draws. I look for Ishihara to take this fight. Um, I think that the switch to camps might hurt Gutierrez a little bit. Next up we have David Tamir versus Jason Novelli. Jason Novelli is a great fighter. He comes in with a lot of experience. He's been fighting for the last 11 years. Although this will be his UFC debut, I look for Tamir to come in. He was season 22 finalist in the open fire. That was the, the one with Conor McGregor on it. He was on Conor McGregor's team. He is a great Muay Thai guy. He comes in for 4-1 and one record. Tamir comes in with 11-1 and one record. I look for the experience of Novelli to take down Tamir. Next up, we have Victor Pesta versus Marcin Chabura. Chabura comes in trying to get retribution. Right now, he has a 13-2 and two record, but his last fight was his UFC debut, and he lost by decision. He's a little bit upset with the decision. Um, the fight was okay. It wasn't one of those standout fights where you could clearly say that this guy won, that guy won. It could have went either way, so I was okay with the decision. But I'll tell you what, Pesta comes in. He has a 70% takedown finish. This guy, once he grabs a hold to you and starts trying to take you down, you are going down. There's nothing you can do about it. He comes to him with a 12-2 and two record. Right, I think that Pesta will come in, he will win this fight. First off, he's the first ever Czech fighter to fight in the UFC, so he'll be chairing that Czech flag in with him, and I believe that will prepare him through this fight against Tabura. Next up, we have some another fight that is pretty going, pretty exciting for, for fight fans, because everyone knows Court McGee and Dominique Steele both go balls to the wall, heads at you, don't take a step back, we both going to try to knock each other out. But Corey McGree, a lot of people know that he comes in, um, he's been a little shaky the last few few um, fights of his, but he's one of those guys that I kind of root for because in 2006, he had the drug overdose, almost died, he started doing mixed martial arts, turned his life around, he's been clean and sober ever since 2006. But I tell you what, Dominic Steele is coming into this fight, he has one performance of the night, and he's also won fight of the night bonuses in his two last two fights. I look for Steele to take this fight. I think that he's just going to be a little bit more explosive than Court McGee in this fight, and I look for him to get the victory. Next up, we have the main starting the main card. First off, they start off with the women in the strawweight division. You have Danielle Taylor making her first fight in the UFC. She has a 7-1 record overall. But like I said, the UFC shock might get to her, and Maria Moroz is coming in 6-1. She is a su submission expert Moroz is <laughs> she's a great finisher once she, she grabs you to do if she grabs a submission on you you're basically over but I look for Taylor to use her striking the most Taylor is a great striker and I use her to help her propel her through this fight versus Moroz so I've taken Taylor in this one next up we have Trevor Smith versus Joe Gilladdy Joe Gilladdy has won four of his last five fights have came by knockout he has never went to decision he's seven and old undefeated Although Trevor Smith is coming in with a lot of experience, he's coming with a 13-6 record, but his last fight was July 2005. He's a great wrestler, but I just look for Joe to come in and get the finish in this one. I'm taking Joe in this fight. And that's another fight, Santiago Ponce versus Zach Cummings. 
I tell you what, Cummins comes in at a 19 and 4 record, and Ponsilius comes in with a 23 and 3 record. Ponsilius has great power, he's very aggressive, but I think Zach Cummins will prevail through this fight. Zach Cummins is a training partner of Tyrone Woodley. Brought in by Tyrone Woodley to help him change for the Robbie Lawler fight, and look how great that has worked out. Cummins also just got his black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, so I look for him to try to throw, throw some Jiu Jitsu in there and get his first black belt win by a stoppage by Jiu Jitsu by a submission. So I look for Cummins to get the submission in this one. Next up, we have Talis Latis, who is number 12 in the world. He's coming in on a three fight win streak. And I tell you what, he has big, heavy hands, he has a lot of power, and he has world-class jiu-jitsu. But Chris Camozzi is coming in. He's no slouch now. He's coming in with a 24 and 10 record. Uh, I tell you what, he has never been KO'd, and Talis Latis loves to KO people. I look for this to go to decision, but I think Talis Latis will take the victory in this fight. Next up, we have Dennis Bermudez versus Ronnie Jackson. This is a great featherweight fight. Of course, everyone remembers Bermudez was the um, finalist on the Ultimate Fight of 14. He's coming in and has won eight of his last 10 fights. He has a 16 5 record right now. I tell you what, though, Ronnie Jackson comes in and Ronnie Jackson says he's only shown 60% of his skills in the octagon. So we'll see if he unleashes that other 40% in the co main event in this featherweight tilt. Um, I'm going with Bermudez in this fight. I think Bermudez has the enough skills to stop anything Jackson can do, and I'm taking him in this fight. Next up is the main event. Yarrell Rodriguez versus Alex Caceres. Caceres, everyone knows him as Bruce Leroy, so if I refer to him as Bruce Leroy, that's what I'm talking about, Caceres. This is going to be a great fight. The first time either one of these guys have, have been known as the headliner fight, and it's their first fight five round fight for either one of these of course remember all co-main events and main events are five rounds in the UFC now with the new rules um because there is Bruce Leroy he was the season 12 tough enough <laughs> a lot of people remember him because he does a lot of jumping kicks and jumping spins punches and he loves to use those doggone um, roundhouse kicks he loves roundhouse kicks um, he's also a, a, a great great karate guy and that's why everyone calls him Bruce Leroy um, but I tell you what Rodriguez Rodriguez is no joke he's coming in on a three fight win streak his last three fights have been won by KO but they both are, are very unorthodox fighters neither one of these guys does moves in the traditional sense of mixed martial arts they do all kind of spinning techniques they do all kind of uh, sweeps so look for this to be a very exciting fight but I think Rodriguez will take it Bruce Leroy is okay he's just been up and down the last couple years and so that's why I believe Rodriguez will take this fight um, pick against me see how y'all do see how I do and I will come back with another review um, after this fight after this UFC tilt and y'all let me know how y'all did and I'll let you know how I did good night